Okay, this will probably be my last video I do for tonight. I just did like a stretch of videos there. I was kind of on a roll, so I thought I'd uh, uh, do some up. So what we're looking at is, so this is the guy that if you go back in my videos, you'll see like a 1984 um, Sierra that was like a goldish color. So this is the same guy that brings these trucks back from Alberta. So what we got here is a 1967 GMC. I don't think Sierra is correct. So, wants uh, $6,500 for this truck. We'll run through the pictures. He's got lots of pictures here, which is good. This guy's usually pretty good with pictures. Um, we'll run through them, and you let me know what you guys think of the price. Like I said, he, he I guess he brings these back from uh, Alberta, apparently. So, um, and, you, know, you know, if you're going to do that, that's a bit of a cost, unfortunately. And that's where... Uh, there's are always arguments with the price versus the condition of the truck and then people trying to get their money back from transporting and stuff like that so it is what it is so there's the, yeah, the back side of the truck there it's like it's missing a light I mean this is a project truck so there's the front uh, corner shot they're pretty rough well I mean this part looks kind of rough. I mean, you could probably, I don't know, you could probably, um, if you wanted to save some money, take a hammer and a dolly, and can you be, if you had a lot of patience, you could probably pound that back out, and you might be able to just blast that bumper and give her a coat of paint or something like that. Um, It looks pretty solid though, I mean, um, well from the the, out, the outside skin of this truck anyway, so. Uh, looks like she took a bit of a lick here on the, on the uh, passenger side. Mortsky would call that a, a whiskey dent. <laughs> no doubt, a few whiskey dents on this truck. Looks like there possibly might be a little bit of rust along here, but hey, you know it's a '67, so these you're not you're not gonna find anything mint anymore, not unless it's already been restored. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know. You guys be the judge. What do you think, price versus this uh, condition? It'd be interesting to know what he paid for them out in Alberta or. How much like actually if there's anybody out know who lives out in Alberta just drop her in the comments and let me know how much these trucks are going for out there anything from 1967 to I don't know 87 maybe on average I don't know what the prices are out in Alberta so uh, it's an interior shot so right out of the gate, this truck's probably, I mean, it, obviously it's a project and it needs work. So it looks like it's probably going to need uh, rockers on it, cab corner, the normal stuff, you know, like, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say what's, oh, so it's. The gas tank probably doesn't work in this thing. He's got the, the old boat tank in it there. <laughs> Straight six in it. This is oh, So this is the 67 GMC 910. I didn't actually even realize that at first. That's why the front end was looking a little different to me. Uh, the, the Gellis guys out, in, uh, out west, they're uh, sobering restoration. They had a 67 or 68 GMC 910. That was actually a not bad looking truck. It was probably in better condition than this one was. Yeah, I mean, most likely it looks like it runs if he's got a boat tank hooked up to it. But yeah, you're gonna need like inner fenders here and stuff. So like, I mean, again, a project truck. So this is what you gotta expect, I guess. The bed, um, pretty easy fix. I mean, you just gotta 
cut some planks and stuff. You could even lay a sheet of plywood in there too if you had to. I mean, you could easily probably get this truck running and on the road again, I think, maybe. Just try to fix the bare minimum and just get her safety and what have you. Yeah, you could just cut some plywood there or something like that. I might have to get another uh, rail or something, maybe, but... There's a, it must be a new gas tank or something there. But it looks pretty solid other than that. I mean, I don't really see any major, there's a little bit of rot there on some of these things, but the tailgate looks not too bad. So this guy's got, he's got this truck up on a lift. It's like it's one of those scissor lifts. Holy jeez, imagine putting that up on one of these, Craig. I'm sure it's safe, it's gotta be. Uh, it looks pretty solid underneath, and you'll probably just, I bet you if you just took this truck apart and gave the frame a good blasting and repainted it, you'd have something pretty nice. You'd probably have to go through all the bushings and tie rods and stuff though, Just that's just normal stuff. Normal wear and tear suspension you'd have to replace. Again, frame looks pretty solid actually. Yeah, like I said, just a good blasting. So this is a, this truck's got trailing arms on it. It's that type of rear end in this thing. Got the like a four link or whatever, or it's not four link, but the control arms or I uh, uh, can't think tonight. So yeah, you're gonna have to replace uh, these braces. It looks like there's one here at the back. The one up here is pretty rotted out. Those are all to be replaced. Yeah, it'd be a bit of work here actually. Another picture of the frame. Yeah, I think if you just pop the box off this thing and just like had somebody sandblast it or something like that and just kind of redo it from there, you'd have a pretty decent truck here. Yeah, this guy's usually pretty good with pictures. I mean, it's. Uh, he tries to get it all in there, which is good. I mean, people are going to travel to buy this truck, right? So he's doing pretty good with the pictures. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. $6,500. $6, I'm not trying to knock his price or nothing like that. He's got to cover his cost for wherever he's uh, bringing these trucks back. But uh, yeah, let me know. I don't know what they're going for out west there. So, All right, cheers. Thanks, and we'll catch you later.